stop wasting time looking for underground shrines in Tears of the Kingdom. I'm here to help! Today we're looking at the Jejone Shrine, located under Crenel Peak. And there's actually two different entrances that you can use to find this shrine. Personally, I prefer the east entrance because you only have to fight one Horriblin. If you use the west entrance, you're going to run into a Bospacoblin and his buddies. But regardless of which entrance you choose, you're going to spend a lot of time busting through rocks. When you finally make it into the shrine, you're going to realize you have no armor and no supplies to help you with this one. Run forward and grab the weapons and shield to your left. Then run forward and jump down off to the left on the sledge here. When you jump down, you'll immediately notice a flame emitter that you need to avoid. There's also one construct down here that you need to fight. Be careful if you only have four hearts because one hit is gonna almost completely take you out. Don't get hit like I did. While you're fighting, if you make them drop a shield or a weapon, make sure you pick it up before they can. And then once you defeat it, go over to the flame emitter. If you throw a weapon at the flame emitter and hit it, it'll shut off. Now you can grab the extra weapons and bomb flowers that are in the corner over here. This is also a good time to fuse some weapons because there are no other enemies down here. Next, run to where you first jumped down and hop on the spring. Hit it with a weapon and you'll launch into the air. Fly straight forward towards a construct on the moving gears. You can use bullet time to take it out in one shot. Then you're going to double back towards another construct that is patrolling the area. When you see it, defeat it quickly and make sure you don't get hit by any of its attacks. If you look towards the back wall, you'll see up on the ledge that there's another construct that is patrolling the area. Take it out while you're still down here so you don't have to fight it hand to hand later. Once you've defeated that construct, go underneath the walkway and ascend through it. Once you ascend through, you'll see that you have flame emitters on either side of you. The rotating one is the one that you want to go towards. Shoot it so that it'll stop using the flames, and then you can run past safely. Your goal is to get to the far wall here to fight the final construct. If you still have arrows, I recommend using those to defeat it at a distance so that you aren't getting hit. Once you defeat the construct, your equipment is going to be returned to you. Then you will see the door unlock. Proceed through the door and open the chest to receive a magic rod. All you have to do now is complete the shrine and collect your Light of Blessing. If you found this helpful, make sure you like, follow, and subscribe. Is there a shrine that's giving you trouble? Let me know in the comments below.